What's going on YouTube? Jeans here back again bringing you guys some more Regulation D teams for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, I'm using a Pokemon that I absolutely love and have never used on the ladder. We got ourselves a Swift Swim Basque Legion team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Also, if you guys want to support me a little bit extra, consider becoming a member by clicking that join button or there is a link down in the description below to become a member. Thank you so much for all the people who have became a member. It really does go a long way with supporting me as a content creator. But Basque Legion, such a cool Pokemon, was newly released in Legends Arceus and it is a brand new Pokemon, another evolution to Basculin. And I think this Pokemon is absolutely amazing. Design wise, typing wise, everything about him is super, super cool. Plus its stats are amazing and he's gonna be very strong on a rain team like we have for you guys today. But with this team, Starting off in that top left hand corner for today's team preview, we got Cleaver. And I've been using Cleaver a lot, and I think Cleaver is very, very good, especially with this set right here Sharpness and the Choice Scarf. Allowing him to outspeed most Pokemon and hit like a truck. He's got Stone Axe, Close Combat, Terror Blast, and U Turn. I really do like this moveset for Cleaver. Second Pokemon is going to be Tornadus, and you guys are probably going to be seeing Tornadus on every single team in Regulation D. This is just going to be the top tier support Pokemon. Again, every team is going to have it. It has Prankster, it has the Cover Cloak, Rock and Rain Dance to set the rain for Basque Legion, Bleak Wind Storm, Taunt, and Tailwind. Third Pokemon is going to be the star of the show. It is going to be Basque Legion. It is a ghost and water type fish, and it looks insane. It has Swift Swim to double its speed in the rain, Life Orb as item, then it's Rock and Protect, Wave Crash for big time stab damage, Aqua Jet for first turn priority, and then it has Last Respects, which actually gets a 50%, or well not 50%, a 50 damage boost for every single ally Pokemon that is dead on your team. So if he's a solo Pokemon, he can last respect and that will do the most damage possible. Dragonite is in our fourth slot and Dragonite is here with Shen Pao on this team, which is still going to be a pretty solid uh, combo within Regulation D. His multi-scale, the choice ban, extreme speed, outrage, aqua jet, and aerial ace. Shen Pao's in our fifth slot, and like I said, he pairs up really well with Dragonite, but he also pairs up perfectly with Basque Legion. If I can get Basque Legion out there in the rain and then Shen Pao next to him, his Aqua Jet is going to just KO most Pokemon on the field. Shen Pao has Swords of Ruin, the Focus Sash as his item, Protect, Ice Spinner, Sacred Sword, and Sucker Punch, nothing you guys haven't seen before. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Serena over here, and Serena's going to work really, really well when we're going up against Pokemon such as Dragonite or other Pokemon with first turn priority moves. He has Queenly Majesty, the Citrus Berry as his item, Protect, Helping Hand, Low Sweep, and Power Whip. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Run the code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Basque Legion rain team. I'm ready to go. Basque Legion team. Super excited to use it. Loading up match number one. I just can't wait to use this Pokemon. Tornadus and Basque Legion is going to be such a solid lead for most part, depending on who they bring. So chances are we're going to go into the, the that two of a lead probably a couple times in today's video, but we'll see who they want to lead. And oh my God, this team looks awesome. It looks awesome, but weird at the same time because they have two unevolved Pokemon, Koalva and uh, Meowskarada's second stage. But they have four very strong Pokemon other than that. They got Greninja, they got Charizard, they got Cyclozar, and then they have Cerule Edge, who are the four that I think they're going to bring. But I'm just going to end up leading the two, Basque Legion and Tornadus here, going to be very, very strong for us. And then Shen Pao Dragonite could pretty much clean up whatever they want. So I'm really liking this. Pretty simple team for us. I feel as we're just going to stomp on our opponents with Basque Legion here. So let's get after here in match number one. I'm hoping we can stomp on our opponents with Basque Legion because that's what I want to showcase because I was using this team for a couple warm-up matches and this Basque Legion team might be one of the best because it is just, it covers so much. It's really, really strong and all around, it, it's just so good. It's so good. But Charizard and Cerule Edge comes out here. I do not mind that. I can Aqua Jet down these Pokemon all day. Instead of Wave Crashing, Aqua Jet will hands down KO. Because I'm going to do this. I'm going to set up a Rain Dance. I am going to Terrastalize. And I'm just going to go for an Aqua Jet. But who do I Aqua Jet? Because one of them is going to Terra. I think I'm going to Aqua Jet Cerule Edge. Charizard is more prone to Terrastalize, I feel as, right? It makes the most sense. So I'm going to Terrastalize my Basque Legion. Aqua Jet's 40 base power with Rain Boost, Stab Boost, Terra Boost, Life Orb Damage Boost, Super Effective Boost. <laughs> this Pokemon is insane in the rain. 
It is just nasty. And they opt to not to rationalize. So I get the rain going. Any fire damage isn't really going to do too much. Aqua Jet's going to fly. Reason I'm using Aqua Jet over Wave Crash is Aqua Jet should be able to do just like that. Enough damage to KO. Plus, we do not take the recoil damage. Wave Crash would just be over. Here. So we'll lose some life orb damage. Let's see what Charizard wants to go into. It goes to an Air Cutter here. An Air Cutter's going to do a little bit of damage onto us. But we are thriving here. Aqua Jet's just going to thrive and take out most of these Pokemon. Greninja now comes out here. And I don't mind Greninja too much. I'm not really too worried about Charizard. I can Aqua Jet and take that out if I want to. But I'm just going to go for a Bleak Wind Storm and then just Aqua Jet down this thing. I feel as we could just Aqua Jet and win this match super, super easily. Here goes Aqua Jet. Yo, <laughs> see you later, Charizard. Get him on out of here. Get him on out of here. Bash your Legion Rip. We get a crit. That thing was dying regardless. He was dying regardless. And Bash your Legion is just out here sweeping teams. He's just taking teams out left and right. Bleak Wind Storm comes out here. And that ends up KOing this Greninja, which I'm super surprised at. I'm super surprised that KO'd that Greninja there. I know Greninja's a lightweight, but I'll take it all day. I'll take it all day. The Cyclozar comes out as its final Pokemon. And yeah, dude, this one's just wraps. This is just too easy. Come on, man. That's too easy for match number one. Bleak Wind Storm. We're going to go for a Wave Crash. And let's see if Wave Crash can one-tap this thing. Even though it's not very effective, Bash Collision hits hard in there. He hits way too hard in the rain. Way too hard. What a first match. Probably my quickest sweep ever. You get some of these matches on the casual ladder at times. But hey, we'll take that all day. We're starting 1-0 with the quickest sweep I've ever recorded. Second match is on its way. And hopefully we can have a decent match here. I feel like we're going up against a gimmicky team with Palafin, Wigglytuff, Magnezone, Clod Sire, Volcarona, and Greedon. So a lot of bulky Pokemon. Hopefully we can have a decent battle here and not just sweep like we did in that last one. But Basque Legion might have to be our lead here. I kind of want to lead it and maybe just set the rain, right? It could definitely be very good for us. So I'm going to go in with the same lead. And I'm going to bring Cleaver in the back end. I feel like I feel as Cleaver with the Choice Scarf could be really good. And same thing with Serene could be good in the back end. But everybody knows you can't go wrong with Shen Pao. So I'm going to bring Shen Pao here. And we're going to look to go back to back here in match number two but i was super surprised for us to just completely ko all of their pokemon in one shot basically just took out two pokemon aqua jet the last one was with wave crash because it was not very effective and then we had a bleak wind storm kill and i'm curious if bleak wind storm kind of works at like hurricane does it land 100 percent of the time in the rain i feel like there's a chance that it does do that right it would make the most sense <clears throat> it would definitely make the most sense but we'll see who they want to end up leading I'm curious to see this team because this team does seem gimmicky. Like, yeah, you guys know when you look at teams, you're like, okay, that's a little gimmicky. <clears throat> but we'll see. We'll see. Because they got a lot of cool Pokemon on it. But I'm hoping at least the next battle we can go up against a regulation D team. Haven't been able to really find a lot of them, but I know a few people are online playing with them. But Cloud Sire comes out here alongside with Alephin. And I know they rock Water Absorb, right? Water Absorb's a thing. So, I, you know what? I'm going to Wave Crash into this slot. I'm going to wave crash into that slot. And I'm going to set the rain here. I feel like Palafin's going to swap, right? He does not swap. Can we re can we at least just dump on this thing? Does not swap with the Pally. Wave crash coming in hot here. Are we taking this thing out? Oh, that's some big damage, though. That's some big time damage. Could have sworn that thing was swapping. I can't hit that Clod side. He's going to flip turn out. going to flip turn out. Wow, we almost just dumped on that thing. But I'm, I'm almost positive Cloud Sire learns Water Absorb, so I gotta watch out for that thing. It's a must to watch out for that thing. He's gonna bring out Magnezone. Probably a sturdy Magnezone. I think I'm just gonna keep Wave Crashing with Bastion Legion. This thing's gonna set up Toxic Spikes. Okay. Pretty smart. Pretty smart play there. Um, I feel as like, like we just Wave Crash again. And then we just Bleak Wind Storm on top of that. I'm with it. We don't really need Tailwind right now. Maybe I'll set it up next turn. But I feel as we just attack Magnezone as it's probably sturdy Pokemon. So it, it basically has a free Focus Ash. So I can Wave Crash it, Bleak Wind Storm, finish that thing off and kind of go from there. So Wave Crash coming hot here again, doing some crazy damage. Oh my lord. Yes, it is sturdy. So good call from us. Bleak Wind Storm should be able to outspeed. We should be able to finish this Pokemon off. Let's go Bleak Wind Storm. I need you. Bleak Wind Storm coming out here. But look how much damage my... Uh, Look how much damage my Bashka Legion already took. And no Pokemon touched it. It's just all recoil and life orb damage. 
Gunk shot coming out of here. That's going to take us out all day. Oh, no, we eat up. So we get another turn with my Bascule. That's huge. Again, that thing's probably water absorbed. I want to stay away from that. So I'm just going to wave crash down the next slot. You bring out Palafin. I'm just going to Aqua Jet it. You might bring out Palafin. You are going to bring out Palafin. And I hate to break it to you. Your Palafin is a goner. Your Palafin is a goner. No problem. Because I can just Aqua Jet that thing down. And Aqua Jet should KO. I don't think we need a Tailwind. I think I'm just going to Bleak Windstorm and do some more damage to Cloud Sire. So Aqua Jet flying here. We're going to take out Palafin. Will Life Orb take me out? I think it will. Which kind of stinks. I think Life Orb just took me out. Did it take me out? Did. Man. I wanted one more turn with Bascule, but I think Cloud Sire is attacking me anyway. So we go for a Bleak Windstorm. It's landing. I'm pretty sure it lands 100% of the time in rain. Sure seems like that. Gunk Shot's going to fly. Does that KO me? It does not. So I get off another turn. Lovely. 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 Cloud Sire is eating up shots. He is eating up shots, but from here, I could pretty much just bring out Cleaver, right? I feel as Cleaver, Cleaver can clean everything up, finish up this match, and we can go 2-0, hopping into our third and final match. Yeah, Volcarona comes out here. That's fine, we chilling. We chilling. Oh, I forgot about the spikes, man. Forgot about the spikes. So from here, I'm just going to go into a Sonex, four times super effective on that thing. Unless it Terrasilize. What chances are it probably Terrasilize, right? I can definitely see that Pokemon Thrasilizing. I can definitely see it. But we're hoping it's just like to like a a neutral typing, right? I still have Shen Pao in the back, and we haven't used it yet, but Basket Legion really went off. But Stone Action to KO, no problem. See you later. And yeah, this match is wraps. This one is wraps. Two very quick battles. So hopefully we can have a third and final drawn out battle. We might have to do four for today's video, but we'll see. We'll see. Bleak Windstorm, still not KOing Cloud Sire. This thing is just eating up, and he's probably just going to gunk shot me again. Yep, and take out my Tornadus. Tornadus. People wanted me to start calling it Tornadus. I read the comments, don't worry. I try to answer back to all the comments, but I believe it's pronounced uh, Tornad Tornadus. Tornadus, and I call it Tornadus. But uh, it's fine. <laughs> I'm going to call it both, um, so don't worry about it. But from here, I'm just going to bring out my boy Shen Pao. This one's over. I could Sucker Punch. I could Stone Axe. I'm sure we scarfed into it. And again, it's no problem. This one's wraps. This one's wraps. Bashkill Legion got to start off hot here again. Which is awesome. <clears throat> so, Stone Axe can come out here. I guess we'll just Ice Spinner. We know we outspeed. And Stone Axe missed? Wow. Stone Axe really missed. It really missed. Good thing Shen Pao's here in the back end. Ice Spinner's going to come through. Finishing off the Cloud Sire. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2-0, dominating, dominating with this Basque Legion rain team. Let's hop into our third. Go look for a perfect record. Loading into our third and final match for today's video. Hopefully, we're going up against a regulation D team. Fingers crossed for that one, but we are sitting 2-0. Let's get ripping here. Come on, show me some regulation D. Show me some Urshfu, all that good stuff. And you know what? I'll actually take this. A very, very strong team right here. We're going up against Bronzong Torkoal. Iron Hands, Brute Bonnet, Ting Lu, and Fluttermane. So I'm not going to take this team lightly because this team is ridiculously strong. I am kind of scared of the Bronzong going into Trick Room. That could be a problem. So I might just bring in Bash Legion as a back-end Pokemon. I think that could be very, very good for us. So who should I lead, though? I mean, I could go into here and maybe just set some spikes, set some stones. Um, could go into... I could go into you and maybe just taunt. I could go into both of them. You know what? We're going to do that. We're going to bring in both these guys. I'm going to bring Shen Pao and Dragonite as back end Pokemon. Because if they're going to set Trick Room, first turn priority is going to be huge. It is definitely going to be huge. And if they lead Iron Hands here, our lead actually works out perfectly. Because our Basket Legion is Ghost type. And Tornadus actually has Cover Cloak. So none of them can be faked out. So that could be really, really good for us. So I'm kind of hoping they lead the Iron Hands. I'm actually kind of really hoping they do lead the Iron Hands. We'll see. We shall see. And it's going to be Bronzong and Iron Hands. So he's looking to fake out and get after me. Um, Do we think this thing's Mental Herb? Potentially, right? It is potentially Mental Herb. I said we go for it regardless. I said we go for it regardless. I could just go for a last respect into this thing too. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. He's got to be faking out one of my Pokemon. Yep, and that's exactly what he does. So he wastes his turn doing that. Taunt's going to come out here. And again, hoping it is not Mental Herb. Because then that'd be a problem. 
and it is not. That's huge. So he's looking up to set up that, that Tailwind. Well, not Tailwind, that Trick Room. And everything's working out pretty good for us here. You cannot Trick Room after Taunt. That's big time for us. That is definitely big time. So from here, you know what? I'm just going to Bleak Wind Storm, and I might just swap my Bashy Legion. Because a Wild Charge coming in here could be a little bit of a problem, right? It could be a problem. Or do I just set the rain? I might just set the rain. Water Terror and go for a Wave Crash and try to take out him. That'd be insane amount of damage, but we're going for it. We're here to have some fun. We're here to have some fun. I do not want to die out to a Wild Charge, and I really don't think swapping's to play. So I'm going to look to KO this thing. I don't think Bronzong's really a threat right now while it's being taunted. I can always KO it another turn. So I'm going for massive damage on Bashy Legion here. Let's do it. So we get the rain boost, we get the stab boost, we get the terror boost, we get life orb boost. Some big time damage here. How much damage are we doing? If we KO with Iron Hands, that'd be wild. That'd be insane. Oh my, no shot. We free focus ash this thing. We just free focus ash the thing and now he thunder punches me and KOs me. That hurts his soul. But my basket is still alive, which is pretty good for us. If Bronzong doesn't KO it, let's see. Gyro Ball. We should be able to eat that up. We do. Awesome. So Basket Legion is here. I can get off two more turns with him. From here, I can go into Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch is free. And the reason I say Sucker Punch is free is because Bronzong's forced to attack. He's forced to attack. He is forced to attack. So I'm just going to Sucker Punch here. I am just going to go into an Aqua Jet. Actually... We're just gonna last respects. That's what we're gonna do. Because I don't want Bronzong swapping. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ice spinner this slot. Because I know he outspeedy he this is, has no first time priority. And I'm just gonna last respects down this slot, just in case Bronzong wants to uh, swap. Okay, so it's a strong pretty good start for us. Our basket is gonna have one more turn after the lamp, which is huge. Having two turns with him. Insanely good. So he ends up with all on iron hands, okay. That's what I was scared of on the bronzong slide. Torkoal's gonna come out here. Okay, I don't mind you too much, Torkoal. I mean, you changed the weather, but still. I don't mind you too much, considering we just can't allow Trickman to come out of here. Because Trickman's a problem. So Ice Spinner comes in here, chunks up a tad bit of damage on Torkoal. And Last Respects is going to fly here. So he wants to bring back out Iron Hands. And the problem with that is Fake Out's going to come out here and shrimp into me. So I feel as Double Protects are play if he brings back out uh, Iron Hands. 100%, right? Double Protect, waste out the Fake Out turns. Then get after the match that way. Yeah, cool. Good thing I have two Pokemon that can protect. Because I still have Focus Sash. So I'm just going to protect you. And I'm just going to protect the Bashkia Legion. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And Torkoal is one of those Pokemon that has no setup moves, right? So it's not going to nasty fly. It's not going to pop a trick room. It's not going to do anything crazy. He's just looking to get off damage. So I'm going to double protect here. <clears throat> Make the smart play. Bashkia Legion's in the sun now. He's still thriving. And he ends up going for just a Drain Punch. I still like the Double Protect there. We have to make sure that we can't be faked out. We have to make sure that we can't be faked out. So that's going to happen. He's going to look to go for an Eruption. Do I go for a Wave Crash into Torkoal? I still feel as it could do some big time damage. Especially with Shen Pal in the field. I'm going to go for it. Even through the Sun. Even through the Sun. So I'm just going to go for an Ice Spinner to knock you out. And I'm going for the Wave Crash. Even in the Sun. We have Shen Pao in the field. So we get that the defense is dropped for these Pokemon, and that's gonna work out really well. I'm hoping we KO Torkoal. Super surprised we came one HP off of killing that Iron Hands. The Wave Crash is now gonna fly. We're gonna die of this recoil damage here. I still have Sash on my Shampoo, but I'm hoping this just KOs. And it does, yo. In the sun, Bashu Legion absolutely shredded. This Pokemon is insane. And this rain team is probably one of the best for Bashu Legion. The Bash Legion is gonna die out to recoil damage. Did its work though. I love this Pokemon. I think it's I think it's one of the best designed water Pokemon of all time. I really like it. And now we go into Dragonite. So yeah, this game's pretty much wrapped. I got Dragonite and I got Shen Pao in the back end. 2v1 in. These guys can pretty much 2v1 anybody. But Ting Lu's gonna come out here. Did they Terrasilize already? I don't think they did. The Terror can come out here. I'm just gonna go in, go in, gonna go into an Ice Spinner and do I E Speed? Or I think I just Outraged. I might as well outrage, right? Some big time damage. Choice ban that? I'm all about it. There's no way you're fairy terror. There's just no shot you're fairy terror. If it's fairy terror, that's the only way we lose. It's gonna be fairy terror, isn't it? Oh, it's steel. Actually, ooh, steel's a little rough. 
Feels a little rough. Good thing I didn't go into East Speed though. But Ice Spinner's gonna fly here. I can take a sword next turn. We chip up a little bit of damage. And an Outrage gonna fly here. So we're Choice Band, it's Stab. It's not very effective, but look how much damage it's doing. That's a big time damage. So he ends up going in Terra Blast. He's not gonna be able to KO any of my Pokemon. Because one, I'm Focus Hash here. And two, I was multi skilled on Dragonite. And now from here, we just go for Sacred Sword, Outrage, Game, Set, and Match. Unless he protects. Mm, there's a lot of different options to go for. A lot of different options. He doesn't protect. Sacred Sword comes in here. Finishes off Ting Lu. Solid third and final match. Go in the distance. We go 3-0. Grab ourselves another perfect record on the casual ladder. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3-0 and fully got to showcase the best Bastion Legion rain team in the Regulation D. I swear this team is going to be all over the meta when it comes out here, especially Tornadus and Bastion Legion. I feel like you can swap out Cleaver and Serene for pretty much any Pokemon, but Dragonite, Shen Pao, Bastion Legion, Tornadus, I feel like that works out so perfectly and covers pretty much any kind of team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.